Hello trader, I am going to do a complete multi time frame analysis on GBP CHF and GBP AUD. These two GBP pairs currently giving significant trading opportunity on the lower time frame. Now before we discuss how we can trade, first let's look at bigger picture starting with GBP AUD looking at the monthly time frame to see overall direction in the market. Now from the monthly perspective, we can see that GBP AUD this is a long term bull market with this monthly impulse GBP AUD has created this move followed by this so far we have seen a correction now this is the monthly candle that has in fact broken this previous monthly low created an overextended market now if we see this monthly level what do you see that this is the previous resistance here resistance here which is starting support here and we can expect now on the monthly on gbp aud to have a bounce towards the upside if we look at the weekly what do you see that from the weekly perspective gbp aud with this weekly rejection had a strong drop and we have seen so far the price has come to this important weekly support level and with that support the price has created this long week candle this is the weekly candle which is closing and we could see gbp aud is closing as a dodgy or as a bullish candle that could lead the next week also gbp aud to continue to rise as we see that this is a long term bullish market what i think that gbp aud may continue to its long term uptrend slowly to the upside so if we look at the daily we can see that GBP AUD from the daily after this move, the price consolidated in that area. We see the sellers not getting enough strength to create a new lower low in that direction. So we can expect GBP AUD to break to the upside to create a new higher high. As we see that there is an imbalance in that zone, we could see GBP AUD going ahead and filling that area. If we look at further lower time frame from the intraday, we can see that GBP AUD along the zone gathering liquidity. As you can see, back to back two dodges created series of lower low and then immediately rejected. Now, previous sessions we saw that GBP AUD has formed this long dodgy. Now, this long dodgy on the intraday perspective, which is also a bullish price action. So, this is where we see the prices slowly moving towards the upside we'll be waiting for a pullback to the downside on gbp aud as i think the gbp aud may continue to break to the upside and we can expect now the price to move as soon as you will find suitable entry along the zone on the lower time frame we will consider going long on gbp aud with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gbp chf looking at the monthly now we can see that from the monthly gbp chf was in a long term downtrend but we have seen quite a few months of consolidation and we see that there is a long week candles are created now with that long week candle what you can expect gbp chf now to break to the upside as we see that there is an imbalance in that here as well and we can expect now change of trend as we see the other price action is forming is it is a reverse sell and we could see gbp chf may continue to rise in the direction from the monthly perspective if we look at the weekly we can see that from the weekly there is a strong breakout followed by weekly pain but now this week so far we have seen that gbp chf has made a move now has come down for a pullback this long week highly likely that will be filled later today or even in the upcoming week we can expect gbp chf to move to the upside to create a new higher high looking at the daily what we can see that from the daily perspective gbp uh, chf uh, th this is a strong daily move an impulse followed by this correction now with that correction we saw there is a daily dodgy the price created this inverted uh, hammer in that zone and once the market opened today we see that gbp chf is now slowly moving towards the upside now with that movement what we can expect on gbp chf the price to move to the upside 
as we see this is a long term bull market we can expect the price to continue to rise in that direction so from the further lower time frame we can see that gbp chf is showing on the four hour typical bullish structure we saw there is a liquidity grab and then a strong movement correction movement consolidation now we can expect gbp chf to continue to rise in that direction so this is where we can see after this doji the price immediately rejected this is where i will be waiting on the lower time frame for a potential bullish trading opportunity as soon as you will find suitable and you will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also leave a comment below thank you i'll see you soon in my next analysis